that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. Still no word from Carmelita? No worry, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. turned him into a coat for that La Paradox guy. Yeah, that La Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks just for fun. Ouch. Yeah, good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Watch yourself, Sly, and don't alert the guard. I hear you, pal.
I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait! Holy missing Lynx! Sly, that's a prehistoric raccoon! I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility! Let's help him out! Sly, I have an idea! But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin! And just don't let the guards see you! I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin, coming up. Well, look who's at the park. Why am I not surprised? That caveman's rough! Doesn't it look almost like a... cane? Fly, you need to hurry! This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. <laughs> the art of pickpocketing. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now! Hold that big fool still! Thank you. 
Not really my color, but I'll make it work. Way to go, Sly! Now get going! Outstanding, Sly! That saber tooth skin is just what we need! If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I will try using a leap to cross that gap! Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. Now I want to talk to your boss about my good. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Sly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get him out of there. This is the perfect situation for your Cyclone Pouts. I see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? 
He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, <clears throat> okay, I guess we'll do it your way. We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back in the climbing shape, fast. Okay, Murray. We need Bob's help to recover the lost components, but he's in terrible condition. It's up to you to get him back in the climbing shape. No problem, Bentley. The Murray knows what it takes to be a champion. All right, listen up. Playtime is over. Your job is to get back in shape, and my job is to make that happen. To do that, the Murray is taking your training to the next level. Look around! We'll be using your standard training exercises. 
Slippery Slope, Penguin Popper, Sumo Slap, Duck and Cover, Super Sling, and whack a chump Okay, so maybe they're not your standard exercises, but they are Murray approved, so let's get started. Using advanced training techniques, the Murray has gained the balance of a mountain goat. Now I'm gonna pass my secret on to you. It's simple. You stand in the middle of the ice, and my little helpers will shake things up. All you have to do is keep that egg in one piece. <laughs> Murray, you need to develop your reaction speed, and not just at the dinner table. You want to hit your opponent at just the right instant. Time your attack and whack the opponent when he's in front of you. Oh yeah, swing for the fences! would get irritable. <laughs> to be a true warrior, you need to develop accuracy. The Murray can hit the bullseye while standing on his head. The key is concentration. So take a good look at those pterodactyls. See the targets they're holding? Put my little pals in that sling and show them how real birds fly. When you hit enough targets, you win! Make those penguins fly! Take your time, but not too much time! Concentrate on the targets! fighter knows when to strike and when to back off. Like whether or not to have one more pepperoni and chocolate chip burrito. To make these split-second calls, you need precision. Our little penguin pals are gonna start popping out of those holes along with some fakes. Just make sure you hit the real birds. <laughs> When you've been fighting as long as the Murray, you develop cat-like reflexes. But like without all the hairballs and stuff. To do this, you have to keep your focus. This exercise is simple. Dodge the penguins. If you can dodge a penguin, you can dodge anything. Woo! 
Figure out where those birds are going, then get out of the way! Good going, Bob! That's how you focus! illustrious sumo career, I developed the strength to move my opponent, no matter how big. I also won the ramen eating championship, but that's another story. To develop this kind of power, you have to push yourself. All right, your opponent is ready. When the two of you meet, you better find your strength. If you don't, he's gonna slap you in the next week. When you can move him out of the ring, you'll be done here. Use your power! Don't let him back you up! Come on, move that big bird! That's using your strength, champ! Bob, you've got what it takes! You earned those medals, but there's one last test. You've got to put it all together. Everything at once. Sort of like a triple-decker pizza. You know what you got to do. Now make the Murray proud.
Okay, Murray, this is the place. My readings show the temporal sprocket is somewhere in that cliff area. You'll need to climb that rock wall to reach it. But first, it looks like you're gonna have to clear out that crowd of guards. No problem! I'll use the beatdown I'm about to give those chumps for a warm-up. Then I'll get your doohickey back. Murray, I realize you volunteered for this one, but are you sure you're ready for that climb? Come on, Bentley! The Murray was born ready! feels like. Press it 
Just penguins, Bentley. Oh, sure, that's what you say now. But you just wait. It looks like they've torn my gravity and calculator apart. You're gonna have to track down each piece to reassemble it. I don't see what you're complaining about. I'm the one who's just a penguin herder now. Murray, are you still upset about the climbing thing? Come on, it just worked out better that way. Everybody has their strengths and weaknesses, myself included. And trust me, we can't do anything without your might. That's why we're a team. I guess. Well, it looks like I've got some birds to round up. Here, little penguins. I promise I won't squeeze That's you it, too hard. Don't let him get away. Okay, little guy. This is for your own... Penguin. Don't let go, Murray! 
Mr. Penguin, speed Mr. Hyrax. Great! Now we're getting somewhere! I should have brought a snack to lure these little guys. Like maybe a tuna popsicle. Little guys are pretty quick.
systems, check. Guard ammo, check. Higher pressure, check. Bentley, how many equipment checks are you going to do? Just being prepared, Sly. A field operative can never be too careful. Or watch too many spy movies, apparently. They're good reference. Those ice caves are a textbook example of a villain's hidden operation. Relax, pal. It's simple. Use the thermovision to find Grizz, tag him with the homing dart, and let him lead us to his lair. Avoiding any lethal obstacles or bloodthirsty guards along the way, of course. Right. Simple. I'll see you back at the hideout. vision. vision to follow his footprint. You're gonna have to track him, Bentley. Protect his footprints. Yeah, they say I'm like Da Vinci, master with a brush. When my art is on the wall, it makes the crowd hush. There he is. Tag him, Bentley. Hold on, Sly. There's something funny about that painting. What happened, Bentley? He was right there. I'm sorry, Sly. It's just this artwork. seems linked to that statue. Go find that bear. 
Must be how Grizz moves the eggs back to his mountain base. Huh? Whoa, that's a huge egg. Ugh, I always hated eggs. I need to get out of the way. I can use those gaps in the walls to avoid the eggs. This is like some kind of bad dream. Alert. Nobody goes in or out but the grids. I gotta go finish your painting, you dig? Good. Now take these and keep your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like that door is missing something. Yeah, a makeover. No, Sly. I'm sure the gems Grizz gave the guards unlocked the door. I'll just have to get them the old-fashioned way. By asking politely? Funny. No, by picking some pockets. I can't tell which guards have them, though. There's another way. How about using thermovision? I think you're right. Wow, this is a first. Okay, now who's being funny? I better use the thermovision to see which guards have the gems. I can't let these guys see me or I have history. on that door. 
You won't shake this tail, Grizz. Uh, did you just say something about shaking your tail? Fly and sly, I've got a bear to catch. No way I'm going out as egg salad. I'll never eat an omelet again. Some art on ice. Gonna dig it up later for a big fat price. The paradox is a stinking dude, and I'm getting real sick of his attitude. It looks like Grizz is planting fake cave paintings. He's working a prehistoric art scam. I get it. He paints them here, then goes back to the present, digs them up, and sells them for a fortune. What a con! Hurry up and tag him before he gets away again. Right. Just to be safe, I'm going to use multiple darts. Three should do the trick. Belly, you need to make sure those darts stick to it. Aim for that rip in his pants. Time to put the dart gun to this. going to require three darts just to be on the safe side. Sorry, the rhyming is contagious. One of these days, he's gonna get served. Yeah, the Grizz is gonna crush that little nerd. Uh -huh. 